the difference you'll find between a, a CEO who just started running a company that already existed and a person who created the company from scratch, the one who created the company from scratch, they had to do every job. They're the boss, they're the secretary, they're the janitor, until you can afford to hire a janitor, right? So when you finally hire someone to be a janitor, you respect them so much because you had to do their job. We talked about the cost of being the boss. You probably want to hear about the rewards, right? Number one is you get some status. You might not have any money, but people will respect you. Like, gee, you're smart. You created something. You must be a cool guy. And then you get prosperity. Eventually, if you keep working, you'll start to make some sales. You'll see a little bit of revenue. You can get your car back from the repo man. <laughs> and then you're able to contribute. And that's the most important part is because you have to have something to give something, right? And then the last thing is you get your freedom. And this is the most important thing, your freedom. Meaning, you have time. You can do whatever you want. You can wake up when you want. You can go to bed when you want. I went to bed at 5 a.m. today because I've employed 14 hours ahead in time zone. So I went to bed at 5 a.m. After this, I'm going to bed, I'm going back to bed. If you have a nine to five, you can't do that, right? And you can travel. I've been all around the world because of this work I'm doing. Dubai, China, Korea, Canada. And those are the rewards you get from entrepreneurship. And you get cool stuff like this. I said, does this guy have next Bill Gates? Probably not. But it's still very nice that they said it, right? Hope so. Fingers crossed for me. Make a prayer. Um, but the big piece is the contribution. This is my favorite contribution on an individual level. This guy's a student just like some Jewish students. He goes to a college called Washington University. Business student. And I happen to meet him randomly, and he says, hey, I really am interested in entrepreneurship. And I said, okay, well, if you're really interested, why don't you come work for me? He says, okay, I'll come work for you. And I could afford to pay him, but I told him I won't pay him because I truly believe you have to be willing to work for free. I did pay him, but I told him I wasn't going to pay him. And since he says, okay, I'll, I'll work for you. And then we got the opportunity to go to Korea because the government invited us there they wanted to use our technology in the universities. And so I said, okay, Gabe, I'm going to Korea. Why don't you stay here and continue doing this work in the United States? He says, well, can I come to Korea? I said, well, gee, let's think about it. You don't speak any Korean. You don't look Korean. You don't know anything about Korea. You've never been to Korea. You won't be able to make any sales. You don't do any technology. You won't be able to help at all in Korea. But of course you can come. And I thought to myself, how often does a 19-year-old kid get to go across the world, learn business, learn a new language, make high-level government connections? This will be the most epic thing in his whole life at such a young age. And I have the opportunity to give that to him. So I said, yeah, come. And he got to meet all these entrepreneurs from Argentina, from Cuba, from Palestine, from Israel, from France, from Russia, all over the world. They selected 40 companies from 3,000 companies. And you got to be a part of that. And there's some of our Korean students at one of the colleges we deployed in. We love students. We created technology for them. And you really have to love what you're doing. These are the most important people to meet, your students. And this is the email Gabe sent me after he went back home to the United States. And this is what makes me, like, so thankful. I know that bringing me to Korea was not an easy choice. With the housing and the business, I had to pay for his house and everything. It was expensive. But you awarded me with this once-in-a-lifetime experience that I'm very grateful to have a boss and a friend like you. That's worth everything. No one can give you money that's going to make you feel like you affected someone's life. He's going to tell his kids about this. When he finally becomes a boss, he's going to be a boss just a little bit like me because he watched me every day. And this is the kind of contribution that you get to engage in as an entrepreneur. And then the last thing at the end is you get prosperity. You get fruit from your labor. And this is really cool for me because I've been invited to a lot of business schools to give talks. Uh, top business schools like Northwestern University, University of Chicago, you name it. And the cool thing is I didn't have a PhD. I don't have, a, I don't have any of that stuff. But they still let me show up and talk. And they actually pay me. Accounts payable. They're paying me like I'm a professor. 
So it shows that what you go out and do in the real world, people value. And now, even if I stopped building my company, because of what I've done as an entrepreneur, I can just go and give talks and still get paid. So you build this skill set that's so highly valued and sought after, you might never have to work a job again. And that's why I always encourage people to get into entrepreneurship if you can handle the costs and earn the rewards. And it all comes down to what I started with. You start with vision. You have to see something. Then you have to do something, and then it becomes reality. It becomes you actually sitting down, talking to someone who wants to buy what you're selling. And you know you're successful when you end up in this situation, which for me, it encapsulates everything. This idea I had is on all of these screens, and you know that you've done something when you're there, and everyone is silent. There's no cell phones, no computers. They're just waiting for you. And so I encourage you all to have a vision and make it happen.